I want you guys to understand about this problem is this, these are what we call the what? Zero. Zeros. They're called the zeros. These are the numbers that make the equation true when f of x equals 0. So the next type of problem I'm asking you, I would wait till I'm done with this. The next problem I'm asking you to do is, hey, what about if I give you the zeros? Can you tell me what the equation looks like? Yeah. So literally all we're going to be doing is going here, setting them equal to 0, or setting them equal to x, setting them equal to 0, writing them as factors equal to 0, multiplying them, and then replacing it with f of x. Okay? It's all backwards. So you say x equals negative 2, x equals 1, x equals 5. Set them all equal to 0. x plus 2 equals 0. x minus 1 equals 0. x minus 5 equals 0. Follow me? OK. Then they're basically, the way that we got these all equals 0, because we wrote them as factors. Then we just multiply. Now, when you're multiplying three of them at a time, I would recommend doing two at a time first, then doing the third set. So let's do FOIL for these two. Um, so I'd have 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus x minus 2 times x minus 5. That could be simple to x squared plus x minus 2 times x minus 5. Does everybody follow me with that? I gave you guys an extra step. Or I showed you an extra step. Showed you how I combine my middle terms, because I'm nice like that. Now I need to multiply these two. You could, again, apply FOIL, or my recommendation is to apply the box method. And just to multiply, just to multiply them as length and widths. You multiply these, you end up getting x cubed plus x squared minus 2x. This becomes a negative 5x squared minus 5x plus 10. My diagonal terms combine. I replace 0 with f of x. And my finally written equation is x cubed negative 5x squared plus x is a negative 4x squared. Negative 5x plus negative 2 is a negative 7x, and then plus 10. What do you mean? Oh, you mean like a number that like you factor out? Yeah, no, actually, that's a really great question. Um, sometimes <clears throat> I didn't, sorry. I didn't assign the problems that said this direction, but some of the problems in your homework, I believe someone up there say, hey, write the equation of the polynomial that maybe has a degree um, or uh, has the zeros and then has like 5 as a leading coefficient. So then what would you have to do to get that as a leading coefficient? You'd have to multiply everything by 5, and it'd be the same answer. Yeah, it would tell you. Yep, yes, now would be an excellent time to use the restroom. All right.